Hey everyone, welcome. Today we are going to learn how to create a parallax effect in Unity. You can see these type of effects in many games. So let's get started. First of all, I have set up my scene in which I have a camera set to orthographic and the clear flag a solid color and background is a simple blue color. Then I have a parallax object inside which I have the sprites and each sprite is duplicated for instance if this is the ground sprite this has been duplicated twice and made the child of the same sprite also i have set the layers of each of these for instance if my it is my ground it means that it should be on top of everything else so i set the order in layer to 11 and same goes for the other sprites as well this is 10, the distance trees is 9 and all of them have basically the same sprite as child of itself since we are going to be repeating our paradox background. So that's the scene setup and let's create our scr sp uh, script. So the script is going to be called parallax and let's attach the script to basically all of the parents. Let's attach the parallax script and let's open it up. Inside the script, we need access to a few variables and the first one is going to be our main camera. The second one is going to be a serialized field. This is going to be a private float and the first thing we need is the size of our sprites so let's call this size of sprite then we need the speed at which each of the background will move so let's call this the background move speed so these are the three things we need and in the start function we are going to get the camera and this is going to be camera.main and for the size of our sprite we will say size of sprite equals get component sprite renderer dot bounds dot size dot x since we will be applying the parallax along the horizontal axis so we only need the x axis for now and in the update function we are going to move each of the sprites at a different speed and we will assign the speed in the inspector so we need the starting position of our sprites and that is going to be a private vector 3 sprite start position since we will be using this to make it scroll infinitely so start sprite start position equals to the transform dot position and then here we would basically need the position of our camera camera.transform.position and then we would create a temporary variable this is going to hold our camera position multiply 1 minus our parallax amount which is the background move speed and here we would create a new variable called distance which is going to be the camera position multiply the not the camera yes the camera position multiply the background move speed and we are just going to apply all of this new position equals new vector 3 this is going to be my start position plus 
my distance we are not going to change the y position and the z is also going to stay the same so if we have a small issue we cannot so this should be the start position start position and this should be a float we only need the x position since we are going to apply the parallax along the z x axis so here we also need the x position only and finally let's just apply the new position okay looks good let's go back to unity hit the play button let's first of all make the background move speed so for the layer which we don't want to move we will use the speed of one and then increase it to the distant tree should be three bushes would be four hill would be five hill two would be six and the clouds would be seven so let's hit the play button and let's move our camera so we can see a parallax but the issue right now is the parallax is not repeating itself meaning the backgrounds are not repeating itself let's fix that for that we just need to reset our start position let's quickly do that so if the temp is greater than my sprite start position plus size of sprite divided by 2 then so sprite is plus equal to temp and we'll do the same over here if it's less than then we just subtract it so it should be the same as this else if it's less than this then we subtract it let's go back to unity hit the play button and if we move our camera okay there is something wrong the issue is that here we need this to be the size of sprite and we just need to be the size of sprite save it and let's go back to unity test it out and if i move like camera you can see that the parallax effect is repeating itself and if you want a smoother speed you can basically reduce the background move speed and you can get a really nice parallax effect i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time